the all the proceedings of the British oh, Television me. Society starting about 1932, something like that. And I happened to notice in there they had this little article on what's called variable velocity scanning. So rather than modulate, it's, I don't have it on yet. Rather than modulating the electron beam, they modulate the speed at which it goes across. And the idea was that mm -hmm. the CRTs at that time didn't have very high peak brilliance, but if you slow the sweep down at, at those points where you want it bright, you can get it really bright. Scan fast to the dark areas. The oh, yeah. interesting. Then I was doing some research just last week on, on it, and I saw back about 1985, there were some patents taken out. Same idea, but for a different reason. And the different reason is, is that scan quickly through areas that have very little content, like sky, and so instead of a CRT intensity business, mm -hmm. it was a bandwidth yeah. reduction yeah. process. Analog compression. Analog compression. Okay, yeah. so so the idea is that the photo tube looks at looks at the scanning here on this on this on the screen and, and is fed back on it. And so in fact the pattern will actually develop here. This is this is just painted onto a piece of cellophane. It's not. It's actually not on the CRT, and then this is just slave to that. So whatever, what's on there is also on here. Okay, and the idea is you take the output of the photo tube and you vary the velocity of scanning. Uh, it turns out that the bandwidth of the VCO input of this thing is not good enough, so I cheat, and so instead of varying that, I simply add the output of the photo tube to the horizontal scanning. So I'm just summing them up. So it's not quite the same thing. Okay, so let's cover this up. Does it have to be a blue towel? <laughs> it has to be a blue towel. Blue towel. It has to be a blue towel. So let's crank, crank the photo to a little jump. Oh, wait, first of all, it helps to turn the cross bar on. <laughs> crank the photo tube up, and we should, we should see that pattern come. There it is. And tweak the high volumes a little bit. Tweak the tweak the scanning rates. Here's the vertical. Here's the horizontal weight. And here's the vertical. We go all the way down. Wow. It's practically nothing. Everything is DC coupled here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you recognize this thing? It's an old deck graphics terminal. So well, that's off a deck. This I mean, is off a deck. Right. And the huh? and, and, and the horizontal and the vertical sweeps go to 100 kilohertz on this thing. Magnetically deflected, wow. 100 kilohertz sweep capability. Wow. So, so this thing's got a huge drivers for the for the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think electronic that's... games use those too, right? Some of the old ones. Well, the partly games, yeah. yeah. So so anyway, there it is. You know, and I can you know turn turn the high voltage down, turn the high voltage up. You know, and, and I can start getting really hairy. Yep. But th there you are. This is actually variable velocity scanning. But with a little bit of luminance in. Right? No, there's no, there is no Z modulation oh, at all. I thought you said you added. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm yeah. adding the output of the photo tube to the horizontal sweep. Mm -hmm. There is no Z modulation. Okay, got it. So Z is constant brightness. Z, Z is constant. Okay. <laughs> all right. And and the same thing is appearing on the scope tube itself. And so this is just slave to what's on the uh, what's on the, uh, the source. If, uh, of course, if I pull the rug off the photo tube, it'll all go bad. Because the photo tube was, was saturated, but you know, I mean, here you can play with you know any scanning speed that you want, and just kind of screw around with it. That is cool. Isn't that neat? And well, that is neat. That's like a C modulation. Like a, like a, like a, like a, this is, I'm putting a DC. I'm putting a DC offset on it. Because what appears to be the ragged edge is reflecting the fact that each line is a little different length. Exactly. Right. Uh, that's it exactly. Right. That's it exactly. Mm -hmm. If I was able right. to use the VCO, yeah. that probably wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but since I'm just adding adding the photo tube to this, it's really you no know, shifting.